For the first game of the season, Hilltop High versus Mahala High School here at Hilltop High School. A beautiful sunset is in the making. And here we go. Mahala just kicked off to Hilltop to start the game. Hilltop led by senior quarterback George Garcia, number one, getting ready to start their first offensive series of the season. Here we go. Tyron Washington set back behind the quarterback, in right behind the center. Two wide receivers set, top and bottom of your screen. There's one in motion. That was Cepeda, David, handoff to Washington. Washington does not break the tackle. Hand off to Washington. That was number seven for Mahala on the tackle for a loss. So numbers and people to look out for for the Lancers. Number five, Damian Cepeda. Number one, George Garcia. Number 18, Tyron Washington. They're on the offensive side. They have been the standouts the last couple of years. We will have some new standouts coming in this year. All right, Hilltop with three receivers set to the top of your screen left, one down here at the right. Washington in the backfield. Garcia under center. Garcia with the Hank reads it, takes it to the right side, gets some yardage, gets up, gets the first down, and more over the 50 yard line into Pahala territory. That's George Garcia with the quarterback keeper over the 50 yard line into Pahala territory. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Lancers' first down. All right, we're going to have some of that sun glare on the screen for a little bit until it gets behind the cloud or drops down over the horizon. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, season opener. We are exactly one minute in to the first quarter of the new season. Both these teams played to an exciting finish last year with Valhalla edging out the W. Garcia wants to go with the read. This time doesn't get as much, but gets some. He picks up one, two, three, four, five yards. Garcia with the number one. Picks up five yards. Up second down on the five. Remember, Lancer students, head on over to the Lancer section. We are going to get loud tonight. Let's get ready to go. Tony, feel free to start pumping the music as soon as the ball goes down. Garcia with the handoff. That's number 10, Sebastian Clara. Clara picks up a couple, but he'll bring up. Third down and three for the Lancers. What's that? Hold on. Pitch out, it's over 22. It was picked up quick. 22 for the Lancers is Mason Vaquero. Garcia with the pitch out to Mason Vaquero, number 22. He picks up one. It'll be fourth down and two for the Lancers. Sorry, Tony, I got headphones in. You ready to have to be super loud or step over? Let's go, Tony! Okay. Yeah, but go ahead and start pumping between, as soon as the ball's down. Let's get these guys pumped up. Hand off to Washington. He muscles his way up the middle. Good for a Lancers. First down. That's Tyron Washington right there. Takes the ball, just pushes his head down, and uses his muscles, follows the blockers, hits the hole, gets the first down for the Lancers. We are first and 10 on the 29th yard line of Valhalla in the opening drive of the game and of the season. Garcia with the keeper. Seems to be a strict ball or a touchdown.
The signal on the field is touchdown Valhalla. Valhalla stripped the ball. Valhalla stripped the ball and comes down and kicks off all the way down the field for the first touchdown of the game. And that is a quick touchdown on defense for Valhalla. Strips the ball from Garcia. Why they had him stood up. Everybody thought that it was going to be a dead ball waiting for the officials to call the whistle. The officials were slow on the whistle there. And in the meantime, Valhalla strips the ball and takes off. Does what you're supposed to do if you're a defender. You play to the whistle. Do not play to your intentions. Nice job by Mahala defense. They're on the board first. And it was a low ball kick, but it is through. And the point after is good. And just like that, in the first quarter, Mahala jumps to the first seven. Good time. Let's off had a promising drive to start with, and then just like that, out of nowhere, Bahala strips it, takes it down, and gets the quick seven points. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, once again, tonight's game is being broadcast live. If you have family and friends who are unable to make it out, or somewhere around the world, go ahead and call text them now. Let them know what you're doing. Our YouTube channel, Hilltop Athletics. Once again, our YouTube channel, Hilltop Athletics, is the live broadcast of today's game. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're tuning in from somewhere outside of San Diego, another state, Northern California, another country, go ahead and put in the comments. We'll give you some shout outs. Let us know where you're from. And if you are a Hilltop fan, this is your first time joining us, make sure to hit that subscription button. It's free. We can keep our subscriptions over a thousand. We'll be able to continue bringing you live broadcast of Hilltop Athletics. Here's kickoff. It's a wobber straight down the middle. Looks like Valero that has the ball. Valero's going to go back. Why don't you over here? See if that helps. All right, here we go. Bill Top with their second offensive possession. The first one ended with. Garcia being stripped while standing up in a scrum and the ball going all the way down. Kind of a crazy play. Normally the whistle is blown by then. And I think the top players expected it. Quick screen pass to the right side. Garcia's quick screen, screen pass to number seven, Isaac Mesa. Complete. That's Mesa's first reception of the season. Positive yards. Good for about five yards on the play, brings up second down and five. After this next play, throw something you see right here. Man in motion, flips around. Garcia looking to run the whole time, gets the first down over the 50. Garcia with the quarterback keeper picks up the first down over the 50 into Norseman territory. Here we go, Garcia in the pocket, looking, coming to his back spine side, actually his front side. That's number five, Plummer from Mahala. 
with the hit on the quarterback as he's throwing the ball. Disrupts the play, will bring it up. Second down and 10. Actually, that was Garcia's front side he was coming to, but Garcia was looking left, did not see it. Yeah, every time we finish a play, go ahead and just pump it a little bit for a while. Get the kids used to some music. After a fourth down or something, and we're switching sides. Oh, yeah, I'll get it. If it's against them, play something. No, of course. Lag on the hill. It is false start for the Lancers. That's a five yard walk back. It'll remain second down. It'll be second down and 15 for the Lancers. All right, these are the types of penalties Hilltop has to stay away from. They kill momentum. They pop on negative yards. And they're just mental mistakes. Early in the season, you're going to see a lot of those, but if you're going to have success this year, you got to minimize that. Here we go. Calera up the middle, gets back just past the line of scrimmage. Calera up the middle, gets just past the line of scrimmage, original line of scrimmage. Comes third down and nine. Coming to the game, number 22, Mason Bakero. No. We don't have a dominant receiver that's big, muscular, super fast. We have a lot of West Walkers. Smokes. There's a pitch out deep into the backfield, gets thrown the first tackle, and can't get past the second. Good job to Mason Paquetta. Gets around the side, picks up a couple, it'll be fourth down and five for the Lancers. Okay, do we punt? Do we go for it? You are on the 44 yard line of Bahala. Really depends on how much you trust your offense and how much you trust your defense. And we're going to have a timeout on the field by Bahala. And first time out of the game, called Juan Bahala. I have two timeouts for me. There you watching wondering what he's doing. Next you know he's in the end zone and it is a touchdown Mahala. They scored quick on their defense. Their offense lost the ball right away. Top offense back on the field. That was George Garcia down for a couple seconds. He looks like his right wrist. Come on, D! He'll talk to So Hilltop stalls out there on offense. The Hall of Defense does their job. That's a second straight drive. The Hall of Defense does their job. Here we go. Bahala with four receivers, two at each side of your screen, top and bottom. Running back side by side, going back to shot. And there's handoff. And quick tackle in the backfield. Welcome to Hilltop Defense. 
That's the last of number 24, Adrian Mendez, with the big tackle in the backfield. Loss of four yards on the play, will bring up second down and 14. Alright, here we go. Another handoff. Oh, fingertip route. That's the last of number 71, Andrew Martinez. With the tackle in the backfield once again. That'll bring up third down for Mahalo. It'll be third down and 19 for the Norsemen. Great job by the Lancer defense, getting in there, penetrating the front lines, getting to that backfield early before they get the momentum. All right, here we go, expect to pass there in long territory. Hilltop is going man-to-man -man coverage. Quarterback's under pressure, and taken down from the back. That's a Hilltop sack, number 12, Freddie Black. Lancer defense comes up strong, ladies and gentlemen. Three players in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Four losses. Freddie Fleck with the sack of the quarterback. Technically, the quarterback got a one-yard gain on that. We're going to give Fleck some love, though. Here we go. Norseman setting up for the punt. We're going to go a little farther out so that we can get the punt and then get the return for you. Normally back deep you would see Angelo Zapata. Zapata is not in the game yet for the Lancers. Alright, there's the punt. It's end over end. Picks it up, fumbles it, but gets it again. He does not have a great grip on that ball. He needs to go down. We'll get another for you second. Ball is punted down to about the 39-yard line. Brought back and back there. That was number six, DJ Rivera. Able to hold on to the ball. Lancers offense for the third time comes on the field. And then we first did 10 from their own. All right, so now you know. Hilltop Lancers in that territory will probably go for the ball if they're go for it if they're close. Their defense played outstanding. Here we go. Washington uh, Clara in the backfield. Lancers two receivers. There's number 22 Maquero in motion. Handoff up the middle. Good for five yards. And off up the middle, good for five yards for the Lancers. It'll be second down and five. Coming to the game for the Lancers. That's number two, Jason Solorio, senior. What position is A? What position is A? Oh, yeah. All right, there he is. Solero's in motion. Garcia's looking left. Garcia's throwing. It's going to be overthrown. Garcia has a strong arm. Garcia's pass incomplete. Overthrown down the left side. Intended receiver number three, Nick Moore. All right, I got Nick in my class. Going to have to give him some. Look at that. Intended receiver right there. We would have caught that. He already beat his man, and that would have been a scamper into the end zone. Might have to give the young man some extra credit on Monday. All right, here we go. Man in motion. Garcia reads it. Garcia runs. Garcia gets the first down. George Garcia with the quarterback read up the right side. Gets the Lancers. First down. Garcia gets into Bahala territory. Third time this early in the game, first quarter, Hilltop offense have been in Bahala territory. However, both times have come up short. 
Right now it is a 7-0 game, ladies and gentlemen. Mahala, defense, stripped the ball from Garcia in the scrum in the first drive of the game and ran it about 60 yards all the way back into the end zone as everyone else was standing around wondering what was going on. And since then, the defenses have been amazing. Both sides. Garcia, over. There's the throw. There's the man. It is caught. Garcia with the pass down the right side. It is complete. And that is good for the Lancers. First down. We'll try to see. That looks like it was number seven for the Lancers. Isaac Meza. Was that? That pass was complete down the side to junior number seven, Isaac Meza. His dad will be very happy right now, jumping for joy. His brother up here in the booth on DJ tonight, as usual, doesn't show a lot of emotion. He's proud on the inside. Washington expected to have to throw his shoulders and go. Actually, that was a Tyler Washington. Washington just went off field. Yeah, Sebastian Merrick. They look a lot of times. Yeah. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Game one for us, too. Sebastian Calero with the run right up into the end zone for the touchdown. And with 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter, it is all tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. They are both good-sized bodies that just take it up the middle. I mean, is, is Tyler playing on the defensive side here? Oh, that's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 7-7 here at Hilltop High School. Remember, if you're a Lancer fan, this is your first time joining us, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button. Let's keep our numbers up so we can keep bringing you live sporting events here from Hilltop. Hilltop's kicker, number 88, Manuel Pablos. His kick. We'll take it down around the 12, 13. We'll go down to the 8. And what a great tackle. Manuel Pablos with the kick that runs and rolls down to the 8. And that looks like number 50, Giovanni Chavez, gets down there and early gets that tackle. And with that, Mahalo will take over on offense. First and ten on the team. Nice kick, nice little rumble, and great, great kick coverage there by Chavez. One on one with the kicker. He's a bigger boy, bigger body. That kick, that runner tried to do some jungle in there. Chavez was not going to have any of it. He just went right at him, wrapped him up, and took him down. Fundamental tackling, great job, young man. All right, here we go, Bahala. Do not count either of these teams out. Mahala is a strong, strong team. Here they are set. One, two, three receivers on the left side, one on the right. Quarterback. Hand off. They're going to pick up a couple yards there. Mahala with the handoff. Good for three yards on the play. It's like number 22. On the run, number 22, Dominic Silva for the Norseman. Cloud cover here is going to take away from our beautiful sunset we normally get during the football season. All right, here we go. Two receivers each side. There's number one in motion. That's Branson Madden. We're going to have. I don't see a flag. 
It's the end of the quarter. <laughs> I like it. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the first quarter with the score all tied up. Bahama 7, Hilltop 7. Hey ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest with you. The world famous bomb dogs are getting down to the end. If you want one, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you haven't, want, haven't had one before, you will definitely want one. They are selling out down there at the canopy. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking down there, and they are sold out. Well, if you got one, you know how amazing they are. If you didn't, you're going to need to be early in the next home football game. However, just to the west of them, the cheerleading booster club is selling party aside of tacos. Head on down for some tacos. And if you want the snack bar type of food, you got the ASB in the snack bar. On the south side, if you're not cold, get on down. You got Kona shaved ice. All right, here we go. Valhalla starting the second quarter, first and ten from their own 15. Handoff. And it is tackle. Tyron Washington led the way on defense there for the tackle. Number one, number two, or one of seven, that jersey. It's all other the That was Ramsey Madden. Tackle for the loss. Loss of about four yards on the play. It'll bring up first and 14 for the hollow. All right, here we go. Valhalla. Three receivers to the left side, one to the right. Here we go. Quarterback and shotgun. Ball snaps on the ground. Quarterback picks it up, tries to scramble, and he's going down close to the end zone on the goal line. They're going to give it the two yard line. Number 71 for the Lancers. That's Andrew Martinez with the quarterback sack right up close to the goal line. The official's going to mark it at the two yard line. And that brings up a fourth down for Mahala. Mahala is going to have to kick out of the back of the end zone. The putters literally heels on the back end of the end zone. This is an amazing time to rush, get a big rush, try to get a block in there. And it's especially important not to get any penalties here. DJ Rivera drops the ball, picks it up. Heads to the left where he has room. And it's knocked out of bounds. We're okay with that. DJ Rivera with the return inside the 15. Hilltop will have a great field possession starting this next offensive series. Most important thing Lancers could have did there, they did. And that was not commit a penalty, not have an offsides and not fumble the ball. They did all three, and look where they're at. Right on the 10 yard line, first and 10, knocking on the end zone. All right, here we go, Lancers, two receivers to the left of the screen, one to the right, man in motion. Nice quick pass by Garcia. In and out of the hands of Meza. Garcia with a quick pass to the left, in and out of the hands of Nick, Nick, Moore. Nick Moore. That'll bring up second and ten. Yeah, that was Nick Moore, in and out of the hands. Offense needs to keep their foot on the pedal. They need to pummel this ball into the end zone. Three yards on the play. Down to seven. 
problem is you're going to try to run the ball up the gut as they are playing a heavy D line right now. You need to get the ball to the outside or you need to pass the ball. They're expecting to run up the middle. And we played right into it right there. Let's see what the Lancers call this time. All right, Mesa's out far right. Man in motion. Hand off again to Washington. No, it's not to Washington. It's Garcia! Look at the razzle-dazzle. Touchdown, Lancaster! George Garcia with the free quarterback keeper. Follows Washington into the end zone for the touchdown. It's actually an incredibly intelligent play there by Garcia. Everybody in the world thought Washington had the ball. He took the defense on him. He ran right up the gut, forced his way up. And guess what? Garcia just scampered into the end zone untouched. Tucked the ball in and just took it in. Good job, Garcia. Touchdown, Lancers. Here's the point after. And the point after for the Lancers, Daniel Pablos is good. And to start the second quarter, 921 remaining, Hilltop. Jumps to the lead, 921 remaining in the first half. Hilltop just took the lead. 14 to 7. Capped off drive by George Garcia, quarterback. With a quarterback read into the end zone. Here we go. Pablos ready to kick. He's going to give his boot. And into the end zone for a touchback. Pablos' kickoff into the end zone for the Lancers' first touchback of the season. What's up, Samaria? How's life? Happy? Uh oh, we got happy going on. I like happy. Happy fast! Anything new? Well, I like how we're saying Tim and Jack Oh, where do you go? I'm a guy. All right, we're having some fun up here in the booth. All right, here we go. 14 to 7, Hilltop in the lead. 921 remaining in the first half. The Hollow with the ball, man in motion right now. Ball snapped again, another little snap. But a nice recovery and a nice run up the middle. Shy of the first down. It's an eight yard pickup for the Norsemen. Low snap, they will recover and a run up the middle. Eight yards on the first play, but they have second down and two. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three receivers to the left of your screen. One down low here. Another low snap. The quarterback's doing everything he can just to get the ball. Hilltop has a nice rush into the back. That was a great effort by the quarterback right there. That was a great effort by Mahala's quarterback. Takes the low snap to his left, scrambles, avoids the pressure, gets the first down up the right side. Mahala first and 10 on the road. Hilltop is penetrating the backfield, doing a great job of making the quarterback act quickly, think fast. Now all we need is to make sure we wrap them up early. Here we go, good snap, gives them time. Pass across the middle, incomplete. 
Pass across the middle is incomplete. Everybody seemed to go a different direction, the ball went right down the middle. Hilltop. We have 6.55 remaining in the first half. Hilltop's offense has been working well so far. Uh, however, the first couple drives ended not the way we wanted. First drive of the game, Hilltop's driving down, having a lot of success. They were in a stand-up scrum. Everybody thought the play was dead. Wahala, however, played the whistle. A young man scampered 60 yards in the opposite direction, stole the ball out of the quarterback's hands. And the officials called it a touchdown. The Hollis, that's their touchdown for the game so far, scored by their defense. And then Hilltop's offense has put two in. The last one was George Garcia with the two yard scamper in the end zone. The first one, Sebastian Calera with about a three to four yard scamper in the end zone. Now we are coming onto the field. Hilltop Lancers, offense led by senior George Garcia. Six forty-four remaining. Hilltop with three timeouts. Mahalo with two. Hilltop has been able thus far to shut down Mahalo's offense. All right, we are in a very compacted formation here on offense. And off. Is that Washington or Calera? Let's see, where's the team? Hand off to Calera. Yeah. I mean, you tell the whole stadium you're going to run up the middle, and then you run up the middle, you're not going to expect a lot of success. Here we go, another tight formation. Garcia avoids the early rush and looks to be got stripped, fumbled the ball. We'll see which direction it goes. Garcia with the quarterback keeper up the middle, gets the ball stripped, it was loose on the ground, and the Lancers recover their own ball. They'll continue on offense. That was a great job by whoever it was. It'll be third down and six I just heard it was a three verse one. Three Bahala, one Hilltop scrambled for that ball. And the lucky Lancer came up with it. Garcia drops, falls on the ground, and this time they're not going to be lucky. Bumble on the field, Bahala gets the ball, turnover, Hill, Hill top of the ground. Thank you, Thank you, 
Put the ball, and it's going to be a yard short. Nice run for Bahala up the right side. It is one yard short of the first down, and it'll bring up a fourth and one for Bahala. This is where we yell defense, people. All right, we got a young student section. They're still learning. Right, quarterback's going to try to keep get to the side. He's going to have it. He had the speed. He's going to get a lot more. We did not close that side. And that's Mahala's quarterback with the keeper up the right side. And that is good for a first down for Mahala. Luis Yorton, please report, please report to the press box for the way for Luis Yorton. Come on, who's stop? Educate him real quick. It's a hard for you to like memorize every kid's name. I want to memorize the ones that make differences in the box. Nice run by the Norseman. That's number 22, Dominic Silva, with the big first down. Get him going. All right, hand up off the middle, breaks the tackle, has some room, has some daylight. Touchdown, Mahala. With the run through the middle, up to the right side. Hilltop's defense looking a little tired. Didn't have the spark that you saw earlier in the game where they were first to the ball, first to the man, and they swarmed. This time they're kind of just Making the effort, a little tired. 
putting a hand there and not wrapping up. That right there will lose games. You've got to be hungry. You've got to push hard from the first play to the last play. Here we go. This is number two, Daniel Raffo. Snap is on the ground, and it gets through. The point after is good. Nice job. Snap is on the ground. They got it up to Raffo. Got it through the upper right. And the two of eight remaining in the first half. We're back to be tied up. Bahala 14, Hilltop. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're talking about. We got a 14-14 game, 208 remaining in the game. Sorry, in the half. Hilltop, if they could have their hurry up offense. The hurry up offense was perfected under head coach Drew Wesley. Did it very, very well. When they ran it, they had success. And when they went away from it, well, they went away from success as well. It takes a lot out of the players. It is mentally taxing. It is physically taxing. But if you have a conditioned team and you run it, you will be successful in high school football in this area. Hilltop is going to have to run a very nice no huddle offense, quick offense. Zero strikes. Gets around this guy's gonna have some room here. Nick Moore, Nick Moore down to the 42 yard line. Hey, Jeff, that's number three, Nick Moore. Nick wanted more, he took it all the way from the left side of the field to the right down the sideline, all the way down to the 40 yard line of the hollow with a minute 15 remaining. In the first half, Hilltop first and 10 from the highest goal. Sometimes I should not come up with things as I'm talking. I could get, could get in trouble. <laughs> Rick Moore wanted more, so he took more. All right, we'll take that. Here we go, Hilltop, two receivers on the outside. We got two in the slot position in the backfield. Tyron Washington deep. That's Dominic Cepeda making the move. He's going to be a lead blocker there. There's a pitch out. That pitch out is to Moore. Garcia with the pitch out to Moore. Good for some positive yards. Is it a first down? And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a Lancers first down. Great job on the first down because it also stops the clock by getting out of bounds. That is a smart play. Here we go. Hilltop's crowded on the right side. They might want to go to the left side. They got a little love. There goes Cepeda. They're going to try it again. This time, Garcia's going to hold on to the ball. He's going to go down for a loss. Nice job. Let's see who the number is right there. Can't read these jerseys on the front. Number 54. We don't have a 54 on the roster. Whoever it was, number 54 did a nice job. As Garcia is going down with two guys fighting for the ball, he basically just put his hands on the ball, shoved it against Garcia's chest, and shoved him to the ground so the ball would be dead. Nice job making sure your quarterback hangs on to that ball after two fumbles on later today. Thank you guys. Did you guys eat? Good. Always eat first. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a minute 40 well before halftime. I'm going to tell you right now. That line at the carne asada table is going to get long. Y'all might want to start sneaking there early. The carne asada table at the far north end of the end zone. We got the ASB. In the, in the concession stand, and you got the Ona Ice on the south end. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's set this up. We're going to 
push up the middle. No gain. Clock is ticking. This is not what you want to do, but they are going to go with a little hurry up offense. Not so hurry up. They keep looking, a little confused. Now they got it. Cepeda's throwing in. George is throwing in. Here we go. Two receivers on the right. One up top. It's number 34 in motion. That's Luis Mendoza. Or he just ran to his position. All right, Garcia avoids. Garcia gets the ball stripped. It bounces. He grabs it. Great job by George Garcia. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a heads-up play. George Garcia under pressure gets the ball, arms hit in the backfield, takes his own pass off the ground, and takes it up close to a first down. And we have timeout on the field called for by Mahala. Why would you call a timeout and try to run the clock? So, did I see that right with my old eyes? Did Garcia get stripped and you put the ball straight down? So, it was not a pass. It was a fumble because it was stripped and it went straight down. Garcia, great heads up. Ball, beautiful bounce, came right back to him. I bet if he did that 10 times out of 10, that might have only happened once. And came right back to him, got positive yards. That's having a quarterback that's already played this level a little bit. He got good play time last year, got the experience he needs. He's a heads up player, and I will tell you, there are not too many people on the field that want it as much as he does. So he is going to make sure he is in this game. Physically, mentally, everything that you need to play. All right, here we go, Bahala. Looks like there is a massive orange storm out there on defense. Hand off to Washington. Hilltop's playing it safe. They're playing it safe, going for the small yards. Looks like they're just setting up for a field goal. They're not going for a pass. They're not trying to get an end around. They did get the first down. That's a first down for the Lancers. But everything is in tight like it's goal line work. Almost looks like George is going to take a knee every time. Here's Garcia. See? Here's Washington to the outside. Touchdown. And that's what we were just talking about. Touchdown, Lancer! Is that Tyron? Touchdown, Tyron Washington. Washington takes the handoff into the middle, bounces to the right side, turns on the Jets and takes it all the way to the right side of the end zone. We were just talking about that, ladies and gentlemen. You keep lining up for that goal line pressure right up the middle. They're ready for it. Got to get to the outside. Washington bounced off the middle, took it to the outside, turned on the Jets, and just took himself into the end zone. Great job, great second effort there by Washington. Great job by the offensive line and the blockers ahead of them to create that hole. That was a team effort. Hilltop jumps to a 24 team lead. Extra points set to come. This is Manuel Cuomos. He is a freshman. He's kicking on varsity right now. It's up and it is good. The freshman, Manuel Pablos, with the point after. And with 32 seconds remaining in the first half, he'll talk back on top, 21-14. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amazing game. I hope you've been here watching this game. This is going to be fun, and hopefully this shootout goes all the way down to the end. Both teams keep playing strong. This game can go either direction. All right, here we go. Number 88, Manuel Pablo, set to kick. Down to about the 11-yard line. Has some room. Lancers 
We'll wrap them up inside the 20. At around the 19. Hey, hey, Coacher, how are you? How's the East Coast? Yeah, uh, Coach Wagner's from the 70s and 80s. He brought, he's bringing back the horse. The logo right there on the middle is going to be on all the, actually that's more of a new age horse. He's bringing back the old school horse. He is all about white and Kelly uniforms, does not want to see the blacks and optic. He is old school. All right, here we go. First and ten for Valhalla. Set to throw. There's quarterback. There's the throw to the left side. In or all? Oh, in and out of the hands. Is that Nick Moore? Number eight. John Ruiz on the coverage there for the Lancers. I'm going to tell you, John's going to go to sleep tonight with some pine tar on his hands, wishing he had that back. That was a pick six in the making. I think he got a little happy before he put the ball in his hands for good. That's all right, ladies and gentlemen. It is still an incomplete pass. He broke it up. Great job. Now, if we could do that three more times in this drive, we'll go into the end zone or into the halftime with the lead. All right, hand up up the middle. Has a little up. Oh, nice job from behind. Somebody grabbed him from behind there for a Lancer, slowed him down. And then the big boy stepped in and brought him down. And up up the middle, good for a foul. A yard on the play. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the first half with Mahala 14, your Lancers 21. Halftime score, ladies and gentlemen, 21-14, Hilltop. We'll go ahead and keep it here for halftime. Getting ready for a halftime performance by the Lancers marching band under the direction of Mr. Russell Corpus. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the snack bar is open. The carne asada taco booth is open. Going to ice is serving their fresh snow cones on the south side of the end zone. And remember, you have friends or family unable to make it out tonight. Tell them to call and text them. Tell them to tune in to YouTube to our channel, Hilltop Athletics, where we're broadcasting live play-by-play -play of tonight's game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and leave you alone for a little bit. We're going to keep the broadcast going through the halftime. You've got the clicker. You'll see when we come back. And we'll be back for kickoff for the second half. Yes. indoor team. Uh, 
once he said that. He was one of the people that was a, it was a group of like five of them that did that. So that had to be what I was trying out. Uh, I'm gonna try to find
about that first play. Which one? You have to get it right. The, the, thing, the thing is, I if it's not blown, it's not dead. It Fair enough. Right. But it's like it was a I, I would have blown those. But if they're not gonna blow, then you have to play in this. Fifty-fifty call. Yeah, I mean it goes either way. Either way, you gotta hold on to the ball, and especially if you don't blow the whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's get ready to start the second half. Good song. Cypress Hill. That's okay, I'm sorry. Jump around. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're at the second half. Sorry, we missed kickoff. Mahalo with the run back all the way to the 50-yard line. First and 10 for the Norseman at the 50 to start the second half. Another low snap. Quarterback picks it up. Has some blocking. And he'll go for a one-yard loss. That's the quarterback. Remember, the new Mahalo on the left side ends up with a one-yard loss. That'll bring up second down and 11 for the Norseman. 
Their number three is not on the roster to coach provided. So, that's all one such a Watch the job, man! Yeah. And a nice breeze. <laughs> Oh, well, don't go over by the restroom. You might fly back over here. All right, handoff up the middle. I think it's two yards. Handoff up the middle. Three yards on the play. We got the third down. Eight. We have an official timeout on the Here we go, third down and eight. Big opportunity for Lancer defense to go ahead and stuff right at the beginning. It's a great opportunity for the Valhalla offense to get footing here in the second half and to establish an offense. They are trailing by seven. They are no way near out of this game. You got three receivers, top of your screen, one to the bottom. Another low snap, quarterback quick gets it, gets the pass off, and it is incomplete. Mahalo with an incomplete tender receiver number one for Ransom in and out of his hands. That'll bring up fourth down and eight most of the Lancers. The way Hilltop's offense has been working, he's definitely going to pop up now through Mahalo. You do not want to give Hilltop good field position. Back to punt. Daniel Rivera back to receive steps back. Let's the ball do its job. Bill Top will have the ball down by the Northern. It'll be first and ten for the Lancers on their own. 27 yards. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, it is 21 to 14, Hilltop in the lead. Those are all first half scores. We are here in the second half, 10-14 remaining in the third quarter. George Garcia under center for the Lancers. Hilltop, two receivers to the top. Garcia with the read. Garcia gets to the outside, and he's gonna pick up a few yards there. George Garcia with the quarterback read. Picks up six yards on the play. We'll bring up second down for the board. Garcia is, as we said earlier, very mature this year. Doing a great job reading right now. He is making something out of nothing almost every time. Here we go, Hillsong receiver set. He's looking right. Quick pass to the right. Ten receivers there. That's Little Mesa. Sorry, I'll always know him as Little Mesa. That's Isaac Mesa. Garcia with the first pass to the right side to Isaac Mesa. And that goes for Lancers. First down. Nice job, Isaac. Here we go. Isaac's older brother, Tony. Was a mainstay here for Lancer football under head coach Drew Wesley. Older sister Sarah is one of the more popular seniors this year here at Hilltop. Great family. And Isaac is the third in line, and he is here on the football team as a junior starting wide receiver. Tyron Washington breaks the tackle to the left side, gets some speed, gets the first down. Washington with the run to the left side, and ladies and gentlemen, yes it is, that's another Lancers first down. Yes, 
they did, Mahala won the GBB was 13 to 0. Mahala took the entire first quarter. They got the kickoff down on their own five yard line. And they went the whole first quarter, punched it into the end zone, got six points, didn't get the point after. And then it wasn't until a few minutes left in the game that they got a second touchdown to make a 13 0. George Garcia hit as he was throwing the ball. It is an incomplete pass. Garcia hit as he was throwing the ball. Incomplete pass. Nice defense there by the ball. That looked like it was number seven. All right, Bill Top, two receivers to the right, handoff, we're going to play big smash mouth football down the middle. Bill Top with the rush up, and it's going to be It'll bring it up. Third down and four for the Lancer. On the hall is 29 yard line. Alright folks, you're gonna hear some teaching in the background. We're training a new camera operator. Alright. Garcia with the run to the right side. And yes, that's another Lancer's first down. Nice job by George Garcia there. Getting that ball in and out. Ready to... Under center. Quick handoff. Looks like it's to Calero. Handoff to Calero. Up the middle. Good for a gain of about five yards. We'll bring up second down and five for the Lancer. Inside the 20 yard line. And we'll have an official timeout. Has to break one. Nope, he's tripped up. It'll be a gain of a few feet on the play. Put the center of the play. So we'll play in the center of the screen. Going to get a little far out like that. 
We zoom in too much, we don't see the receivers or anything on the outside of the screen. We want to be able to see them. Top left, that's Dominic Cepeda in motion. On top again, he's going to smash mouth down the middle. They pick up about two yards on the play. And we have third down for the Lancers. He'll top another run up the middle. It'll bring up third down. Complete a little high tenor receiver Mesa. Garcia's pass is incomplete. In the end zone, the receiver is going to come out and catch a touchdown on the field. That'll bring up fourth down for the Lancers. Freshman kicker Manuel Pablos in to go for the field goal attempt. He's been 100% so far from the point after. We were watching him in our pregame. He was struggling a little from the right side, hooking it. Now this one's going to have to push the ball. Let's see how he does. The distance will not be an issue. Can he put it through the middle? And no, he went too far to the right. The rookie Pablos with the push of the two to the one. No good on the back there. And the will take over on down. So yes, up the middle had no problems whatsoever. He's still learning to get that ball from the middle. How much to push it, how much to hook it. And it's well from the one side there. And now for a good to get to take the ball to the left and do it and make it like no ball. So it's just one something he'll learn in practice. He's with Coach Gritz, but he gives some good advice, working him a lot. He had the distance for that. Just yes, pushed it to the left. Here we go. That was his lesson for his little hollow. Instead of being down by 10, they're still down by 7. Here we go. Mahala, two receivers to the bottom of your screen to the right, one to the top on the left side. Hand off up the middle, quick. That's taken down by number 12 for the Lancers. Freddie Flynn with the tackle for the Lancers. On the run, that's number 22, Dominic Silva for the Norseman. Six for the Lancers, DJ Rivera, he's going to have to calm himself real quick or he's going to pick up a personal foul. After the play, John shoving. Nice job by the coaches pulling out the game right now. They do not need a stupid personal foul from a hot man or from a player who gets too hot. On either side, either coach has to do that. That's just what we call a stupid play. Not stupid player, stupid play. Where they just get a hot man and... They lose themselves for a quick second, and that loss results in a 15 oh, So, nice job. Give a breather. Get him back in. Keep him going. He's a sophomore, first time on varsity. Getting some good play time here, good experience. Pass is complete, first down. Pass is complete from the hall, and that's the first down. That's number 14. Ronnie Alaskia. <laughs> See, just like that, 
Cliff Rayner, DJ back in the game, ready to rock and roll, fresh start. That's a great job by the coaching staff. Quarterback. And then on the sack, number 17, Joshua Cisneros. This quarterback for the Hollows had to pick a lot of balls off the turf all the way through the Makes it hard when you're going down low and you got to focus on the ball and you're taking your eyes off the rush. Because then you have to get the ball, reestablish the rush, the right in front of your face, and you're left with split second decision. Not the ideal atmosphere to work, but I'll tell you, this young man has been very impressive for Baldwin. Getting off some amazing plays. Rush up the middle, positive yards. There's a nice rush up the middle for the ball and positive yards. It's back close to the line of sprint. Well, coach. That will bring up the third down and 12. Oh, Luis, that will bring up the third down and 12. Oh, We're not at the moment. Okay, here we go. We're down in 12. Bahala, three receivers to the left of your screen. He's going deep. He's throwing. And that is an offensive pass to the parents, shoving the guy from behind, but they're going to let that go. DJ stopping and doing a little razzle dazzle. Let's hold off on that. Let's get a W. All right, it is fourth down and 13. Fourth down. Fourth down and 13. Short punt takes a hilltop bounce all the way back to the Mahala 40 yard line. On the bump, takes the hilltop bounce, bounces back to the Hall of Sporting Guard line for the last two girls in the world. First and ten. All right, here we go. George Garcia under center. Lancers, three receivers to the bottom of your screen. One to the top. Running back. Hand off to Calera. Garcia with the hand off to Calera. Good for three yards on the play. We'll bring up second down and seven. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the third quarter. About 15, 14 seconds. The clock is running. We're going to not make this play. They're going to let it run out to the quarter. Hilltop with a one touchdown lead. They're playing it very, very safe right now, only with the one touchdown. They're using the clock. We would like to see at least a little more than a touchdown lead. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the third quarter, the Hall of 14, your Lancers 21. So we would like to see a little more than a one touchdown lead as we're playing it safe. I'd like to kind of get us into that end zone or at least through the uprights. Get us a two-score game before we're starting to play it real safe. Is any type of mistake like happening in the first offensive play of the game can happen? And all of a sudden, you're down to the end of the game, tied, and now you're scrambling. Alright. 21-14. 12 minutes remaining in this game. Hilltop with the lead. Doesn't want to work. She wants to hang out. 
Marco. If she doesn't have anybody hanging out, she can come and stand around. Oh, she can't talk. And I'm not going to go. Okay, looks like they're not going to fumble on the play. We'll see. And there it was. Hilltop, a third fumble on the fifth game. And it looks like they're going to go.
this is what we talk about when we're playing it safe in a game. We don't want to play it safe with only one touchdown lead. We've got a whole third quarter to play with right now, giving up the ball there. Our defense has played amazing tonight. They've done a great job. Oh, we can continue that, we'll be okay. We've got Mahalo deep on the 20 yard line on their side of the field. Alright, quarterback's gonna try to run up. No, he is stuck right away. That is a sack. We'll see who that is for the Lancers real quick for you. That's a sack on the play. Another low snap on the ground. 
That has been the saving grace for Hilltop's defense right now. The Hollis Center has been putting probably 70% of the stats on the ground. The quarterback's having to take his eyes off the rush, go down, find the ball, and then immediately do something because he has people in his face. Here we go. Hand off deep in the backfield. Gets through the first rush, but the second group grabs him. Does not get to the line of scrimmage. Looking left, looking right, over the middle. Oh. Had a man that gave up his route. Incomplete pass across the middle. Had a man that was wide open. He just kind of gave up his route. If he would have kept taking his steps, that ball would have been in his bread basket, and he would have been off to the races for at least possibly a first down, if not more. Yeah, that was one of those. The Hala has to go for it now. They're in the fourth quarter. They got to push themselves. They're far enough into Hilltop territory. Go, be Timeout to talk about it. Timeout on the field for the Hala. That's their first charge timeout in the second half. 7 07 remaining in the game. 21 14. Hilltop lead. Seven. Let's bring it up for you right now. 7:07 7 remaining in the game. Hilltop with the touchdown lead on offense. Hilltop the whole second half has played it completely safe. Tight, tight, tight formation on offense. It looks like they're set up for the quarterback to do a quarterback kneel to kneel down. That's the type of formation they're on. And then they keep running it up the middle. Yard here, two yards there, four yards. One touchdown, and that was because Tyron Washington bounced off the center and went to the side. They got the quarterback back. Huge sack on the quarterback. We'll get a number right there. Number 60. Yeah. 
stop that. You're not ready for that class. Bill Tyler, my it's a lot of 6.40 remaining, ladies and gentlemen. It is 21-14. Hilltop in the lead. So what we want to do is we have a camera system set up that can hook up to the laptop and everything else. And start oh, out have a template with the score and the clock on it at the same time. The problem is we do not have internet access up here. We have a hot spot but it does not pick up enough for the screen. Garcia's pass. His kick is, how did he get that off? Garcia's pass to the right side is so That is good for Lancer's first down. Pass good to number seven, Isaac Mesa. So that way folks can see a running clock, the scoreboard, every ball at once. We just, if you're a real talk, we got no this hot spot right here. Can't even get to the Yahoo. It's not enough stuff. It's not strong enough. Right here. All right, 534, 531 and counting, 21-14, Hilltop, Hilltop with the ball. Way to go, Dad! And five, on the hall is 31. We'd like to throw some thank yous tonight. Tony Meza is here in the booth doing DJing for the student section, doing an amazing job. Carly Gray came in here in the second half, is working the camera system, kind of interning, learning how to do it. Doing a great job. Washington with the handoff, gets the first down, starts to go sideways. And that's Tyreek Washington with the run, and yes, that's good for him. Lancer, first down. Go 
George Garcia with it. So George Garcia literally thought that he's doing such a good job, he's faking us out up here and then handed off to Washington. Because Washington acts like he has the ball and starts doing his jukes and everybody's on Washington. He's doing a great job of selling the fake. I mean, that's a two-point play right here. That's Garcia making the read, and that's Tyron Washington making it and selling it. A lot of people don't sell that ball at the high school level. They just pretend to run, and nobody even thinks about it. They go straight out to the quarterback. Georgia's success is coming off of the running backs here at Hilltop selling it so nicely. Good job. And that is a 21 to 14 lead. I'm going to tell you, I'm a little surprised Hilltop's had a two touchdown lead right now. But Hala has been a very strong team. Hilltop had four turnovers tonight, though. And that should have given Mahala that extra hump. Yeah, it's actually a turnaround opposite scores. Almost this kid goes out of bounds. Well, Harry will take the ball on their own. 35 At this moment, let's go ahead and do it. Wait a second, we're not here. Away. Nice job by the quarterback. Breaks away from the first rush. Able to get it back close to the line of scrimmage. Nice job by the line of the defense. Very nice job by the Mahalo quarterback. Breaks away, scrambles, and takes a one yard loss and easy to get a good play. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got to get to introducing our varsity cheerleaders, Captain Kylie Bobsloon.
Run up the middle by a quarterback. He has lots of room. He's going to get that first down. He's going to get a lot more than that first down. Scamper up the middle. Lots of room to run. Great job. All the way into Lancer territory. Down to the 41 yard line. That's a first down and more for Bahala. And that's what happens when you play prevent defense. You tend to prevent the win. Defensive line has been opening holes. Finish up. 